Hey everyone, happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there. I just wanted to hop on here because I learned something pretty interesting that I thought a lot of you would like to implement into your daily lives. So how old were you when you learned how to close a cereal box? I was today years old. I am nearly 30 years old and I found out that I have been closing cereal boxes wrong my entire life. So I am here to show you how to correctly close a cereal box. So I'm sure you, just as myself, learned this way to fold the cereal box. Fold down the two sides, fold down one flap, then tuck the tab into the little hole or the divot and voila, your cereal box is closed. False. When you turn your cereal box upside down, you give it a little shake, it will pop open and your cereal will go all over the place. Or when it is closed, you will notice that the sides are open. Depending on where you live, this may cause problems because little guys might want to poke in on that side. Well, I have the solution for you, my friend. You do put down those two end pieces. However, the next step is a little different. Instead of just folding it down part way, you're going to tuck it in all the way and then your last step you're going to poke your fingers on the side of your box to kind of give it a little bit of a point and then you're going to tuck that last flap into the box itself not the top into the box and look at that it is completely sealed it kind of looks like a little candy container and most importantly when you turn that cereal box upside down nothing pops open. For those of you that have a little bit of OCD like myself, like how clean cut does that look? Right? So please share the video below if you know someone crazy like yourself and me that is excited about folding cereal boxes. I will see all of you guys next time.